around that time, me and James, you know, I had tried again. <sighs> trying, 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 and no baby. Was not getting pregnant. And I was just like, you know, what's what's going on? And, um, and then the, <laughs> it's so funny because at the moment where I was just like, you know what, forget it. Like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to try anymore. I don't want to keep to keep getting disappointed. I'm getting excited and nothing happens. And, you know, just the up and down. And that moment when I was just like, you know what, forget it. Like, we're just not going to try. Like, you know, whatever. March 15th of 2018. Found out that I was pregnant. And I was pregnant with Solomon. Prior to me finding out that I was pregnant with Solomon, I had prayed. <laughs> I had prayed um, because me and James and I, both of our birthdays are in November. So he was like, you know, I want a November baby. I want a November baby. And I was like, you know, okay, yeah, that'd be cool. And so I prayed and I was like, Lord, I want, I want, I don't, I don't care what this, the sex of the baby is. I want a healthy baby, but I want the baby to be born in November. Like his parents, March 15th of 2018 find out i was pregnant couldn't believe it so off top um because of my the my two prior miscarriages one with isaac and the one that i was eight weeks um my OBGYN was like off top high risk you know these are your res restrictions boom 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 okay um they were monitoring my cervix because that's basically how Isaac was born. My cervix started dilating prematurely, basically. Um, what I later found out is what I have a incompetent cervix. It was, you know, just too much pressure at a particular time during my pregnancy. And so it starts, di my cervix starts dilating. Um, so basically that's what happened with Isaac. So as time goes on, time goes on. And one day I go to a doctor's appointment while I was carrying Solomon. And they noticed that my cervix started getting smaller. And so I went to a fetal medicine doctor. We were going, by this time, I was going to. All right, y'all, sorry about that again. Um, but back to what I was saying. By this time, I was going to, like, the doctors pretty f pretty frequently. Um, but when I started going to the med medicine fetal, fetal medicine doctor, it was like I was going to them one week and going to my OBGYN one week. Going to the fetal medicine doctor the next week, going to my OBGYN the week after. Like, it was, it was a lot. So when the fetal medicine doctor, the last time, I remember it was a Thursday I went, and they saw that my cervix was like 1.8 or 6 centimeters. It was kind of weird um, how it happened because my husband noticed that the nurse was like out. She had went out of the room, but she was out of the room like for a long time. And that's because she was talking to the fetal medicine doctor. I cannot remember her name, but she was great. I loved her. I loved her. Loved her. Loved her. Loved her. Loved her. Loved her. Um, she was at Community North Fetal Medicine um, Doctor. Um, she was great, just really great. I wish, I wish I would have met her when I was pregnant with Isaac, but it's all right. Um, so she had came in and was like, you know, just introduced herself, very sweet, went over everything. And she was like, hey, you know, we noticed that your cervix is, you know, has gotten down to this size. Um, I recommend that you come in tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. and we're going to go ahead and do the stitch. Like there was no hesitation and she was right on it. So we got out of the um, 
I guess it would be called an exam room where they do their like ultrasound and stuff like that. And we went into her office and she basically went through, you know, how the procedure is, the two different types of stitching on the cervix. And, um, yeah, I got uh, a letter about, I got the, my doctor's note um, to send to my job about the procedure um how long i was to, to be out and all of that and so 6 a.m friday i got my cerclage inserted or put in i had never prior to that happening i have never been in nobody's operating room the most that i've ever gotten done is my wisdom teeth getting all four of my wisdom teeth taken out other than that, I've never been under nothing. So I'm nervous because I'm nervous about me. I'm nervous about how, if there's any effects with the baby, like, you know, all of this stuff. I'm going through all of that. And, um, yeah, he scared the crap out of me. <laughs> but I'm going through all of that and, um, to at least have a successful um, pregnancy. So we go through the stitch, and this is where my pregnancy journey vlogs kind of pick up from because I talk about, it picks up like, I think it picks up from right before I got it done. I know it picks up like that morning when I was getting it done, like on my way to the hospital to go check in and um, OP or pre-OP or something like that. Um, so that's where it picks up from. So I got the stitch. Um, I had to be on not bed rest basically i couldn't have any type of sexual intercourse or anything like that until the end of my pregnancy because any type of orgasm would have caused a contraction and with the stitch in that would that would that would hurt so yeah i was on a restriction from that i was on a 40 hour week restriction as well too because at the time my job was on mandatory over overtime um mandatory like 10 hours and that was just way too much on my body um it was actually causing me pain like because of you know the high risk and stuff like that so i was on work hour restriction i was on the restriction because of the stitch um so it was you know it was a lot it was a lot not only on me but also on my husband and you know the on top of that, I had to get every week, I had to get project, pro, progesterone shots. If I'm saying this wrong, I'm so sorry. But I had to get those every week also. In my booty cheek, alternate every week. So when I say, like, y'all, I go through a time I go through a time with pregnancies like I really do um that's why it's just like it can be very stressful um so fast forward to present time um it is July 9th today correct me if I'm wrong um but a few weeks ago I had found out that I was pregnant again. Um, I wasn't expecting to get pregnant this soon because Solomon is eight months. I was really wanting to wait until he was around two or three um, just so at least he's walking, talking a little bit, at least potty trained. Um, so this was by a surprise, but yeah, so I'll speak on my feelings about that. Um this pregnancy i was initially to be honest very up and down about it because of my um 
my history of being pregnant, high risk and all, you know, all the things that it, it endures. So I was, you know, already hesitant. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know. Um, but I was excited, but scared, um, happy, but just like, you know, oh man, like, kind of like a, what did I do? Like I wasn't, I didn't want it to be this soon. I wanted Solomon to be older. Um, so, you know, I went through that initial battle within myself, um, for almost a week or whatever, actually, not because I had been knowing, I want to say it was sometime like mid-June, going on towards mid-June when I finally took the test, um, that I found out that I was pregnant. And, um, so initially, you know, I was very nervous, but, you know, after that, I was, you know, accepting of, you know, okay, we're going to have a baby between March and April of next year. But going into the second month, it's just a woman knows her body and I know my body and I knew something wasn't right. But I just really couldn't put my finger on it or really prove, prove it. So I was just like, you know, maybe it could be in my head or, you know, I'm just overthinking things or, you know, whatever. Um, so this past holiday weekend, 4th of July, came and passed. Um, this past Friday, that Friday and Saturday, I was um, having light bleeding on and off. For a couple days um the first day it happened i was just like mm, it was light so i really wasn't too concerned about it but i was still monitoring it the second day i was just like okay something's something's not quite right so sunday comes and um oops it's not in here so sunday comes and i'm just like Uh, baby's not gonna make it. I I knew within myself that it it wasn't gonna make it, but I was just like, well, maybe it I could be wrong. So Sunday evening, towards the evening of Sunday, um, I started bleeding, and and immediately I knew that um. I was having a miscarriage. I uh, told my husband what was going on. And it's just like, like, my feelings, it was weird. It was like, it was, I have very mixed emotions because I was just like, okay, you know, cool, you know, not cool, but it's just like, okay, I'm not pregnant. You know, we can try again. When Solomon's like two or three, but at the same time, I'm just like, dang, like I have to go through this whole process again, like figuring out if my HCG levels are all right, if I have to do this and I got to do that. And it's just like, how come I just can't get pregnant and it be okay? And um, I started to cry and was just like, you know. Like, why, why me? Like, why do I have to go through all of this just to be a mom, just to be a parent, just, you know, to have a little family on my own? And my husband reminded me that you never know, basically, you never know as to why God um, has you go through certain things because you could be going through it for someone else that is that is currently experiencing it, about to experience it, um, or just simply letting, you know, people know your story or your journey. And, you know, it is possible to come through and to make it. And, you know, especially with being married, it takes a lot of support, a lot of love, a lot of understanding because it can be a very trying time in your relationship, whether you're married or not. Um, it can be, be a very trying time in your relationship um, because no one expects 
to lose a baby. No one ever expects that. Um, so, I was supposed to go to work today, and I ended up calling off because I just needed, I just needed an extra day. But yesterday, I spent the day because it was an off day for me, also. Um, so I spent the day just really thanking God for my son. Really thanking God for my son. Because it was a trying time in carrying him. Um, having him was not the bad part. <laughs> um, pushing him was the labor delivery. That was, I mean, it hurt. Let's not get it twisted. It did hurt. But the carrying, the process of carrying him and him growing, it was very... It was hard. It was very hard. Um, it was just a very difficult experience for me. Um, so yesterday I was just, you know, of course, I was playing with my son and love on him and, and everything like that. But I think like yesterday it was extra because... I don't know what 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 I would have done, where I would have been, what I would be doing currently if Solomon wasn't here. Um, he's the best thing that has ever happened to me, other than um, my husband. My son is the greatest blessing ever. He's the most happiest, loving baby ever. He's silly. He's goofy. He's everything. Even at eight months, he has his own um, little personality. Little, you know, smooth personality. And I love it. Um, I made a post about him yesterday because he turned eight months. Um, and it's, I just love my son. And I'm just so thankful that I was able to have a successful, full-term pregnancy. Um, that he came out healthy, all ten fingers, all ten toes, two eyes, two ears, a nose, mouth, one tongue, all of that, completely healthy. I didn't care if he was a boy or a girl. I just wanted my baby to be healthy and to be with me. So, sorry, y'all, that was the mailman. So, um, that is my confession. I had found out last month in June that I was pregnant. And I really didn't tell anybody because of my history of having high-risk pregnancies. And um, I didn't want to say anything prematurely until I actually saw my doctor and to be sure that everything was okay. But since Sunday has happened and... Um, I've had my miscarriage. Um, I thought that I would come on the camera and tell my story. Um, let my voice be heard that it is very possible to get through um, losing multiple pregnancies. Um, being pregnant and, you know, losing your child in second trimester, um, like I did, um, third trimester, whichever, losing a child, period, um, or losing a pregnancy, period, is, it can be very devastating, very heartbreaking, very hard, um, it just feels like your world is just over, just over. And um, I felt like that. I very much so felt like that my life is over. And where do where do I go from here? Where what pieces do I pick up? How do you know which pieces to pick up? Um, do I want to try again? for a baby like all of that and um I was scared I was very scared 
because I just didn't want to go through it again. I didn't want to experience that type of hurt. I don't want my worst enemy to experience that type of hurt and that type of pain. Um, so, yeah. So, um, I thought I'd come on here and, you know, tell my story to y'all of what's been going on. Um with me um with my family you know again i really i keep dropping this i'm sorry y'all again i really haven't you know told anybody except for my immediate family um so i'm just really taking my time um and processing everything being sure that i'm healing properly um getting plenty of rest um, excuse me, um, just, yeah, I'm just really taking my time. That's all it is really going to take is taking time. Um, but yeah, if, um, anyone watching this has any questions about, you know, my personal um pregnancy journey and you know some of the things or i just have things that i went through and you know, um i know i didn't cover like everything but um you also everyone can check out my um pregnancy journey playlist on my channel and kind of goes through as far as like my pregnancy updates doc some of the doctor's appointments i was able um to record um all of that um, even up to, I believe I also, up, uh, uploaded when Solomon finally arrived. Um, he came a week early. His due date was November 16th of 2018, but, uh, Fat Man came November 8th of 2018. It's funny because on the 9th, um, the day after I was supposed to get a membrane sweep, a mem membrane sweep, um, and I guess he was like, uh-uh, mama, we ain't about to do that. So he came November 8th, three days after my birthday, 20 days before James' birthday. So we got our November baby, and he is the greatest thing ever. So, yeah, y'all, if y'all have any questions, please, 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 please do not be afraid to list them down in the comment box. Um please do so um ooh, it's hot yeah why that man that walked past just burped he probably didn't know i was in here but that's gross um like i said please list any questions comments um pertaining you know to my pregnancy journey your pregnancy journey um any questions or anything like that that you may have um you can go on my instagram chris.wood k-h-r-y-s dot w-o-o-d or you can leave them down in the comment box um comment away ask questions away um for real you guys check out my pregnancy journey vlogs again um i just know that um uh, we'll get through this i'll get through this just gonna take some time um so as far as like me posting and stuff like that i'm still most definitely going to do that but i'm just you know really gonna take some personal time um just to be sure that you know i'm okay and that, you know, me and my husband as a unit are okay. Which I know we are, but you know, miscarriages can be rough. Not only individually, but as a unit, as a couple, um, too. So, I appreciate y'all time, you know, um, watching this video. Please like, like, 
comment, subscribe, share, talk to your neighbor, tell your friends, tell everyone. Um, thank y'all again for, you know, just listening to me. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your week. Have a wonderful um, hum day tomorrow. Uh, Y'all stay encouraged. Say stay blessed. Stay prayed up. All of that. Good vibes. Good energy. Um, and sending much, much love, peace, and happiness your way to all of your guys' way. And um, I will talk to y'all later. All right. Bye.